case you hadn't heard, A&E is now backing off its decision to suspend Duck Dynasty star Phil Robertson. The network pulled Robertson off his family's reality show last week after those comments he made in an interview published by GQ. A&E released a statement last night explaining the decision, saying, quote, Duck Dynasty is not a show about one man's views. It resonates with a large audience because it is a show about family, a family that America has come to love. As you might have seen in many episodes, they come together to reflect and pray for unity, tolerance, and forgiveness. These are three values that we at A&E Networks also feel strongly about. John Murray is the editor-in-chief of AlwaysList.com. John, uh, good to see you, sir. In recent days, Dynasty fans, they, they tried to organize a boycott of the network. They collected, I'm told, roughly a quarter of a million uh, signatures of that petition. Is the decision to end the suspension, rather quickly, we should note, is this decision a direct response to pressure from fans? Uh, Craig, I think it's only partially a direct response to the fans. I think the other part is, you know, a &E said they talked to advocacy groups. I think they talked to advertising groups. This is their franchise show. It is the most successful show, on a uh, reality show on cable television right now. So a and &E saw that they were about to lose this show because with the suspension of Phil, the rest of the cast said, we won't come back to work either. And other networks had already put out the word that if a and &E, if you drop them, we'll pick them up. They could not lose their cash cow. They had to make a move. And it was Public Relations 101 to make this uh, announcement on a Friday, on a Friday night, right. on a holiday, holiday Friday, weekend. That's how a story gets buried, absolutely, yeah. because you want it to go under the radar. Uh, glad the gay rights group also released a statement today saying, in part, quote, Phil Robertson should look African-American and gay people in the eyes and hear about the hurtful impact of praising Jim Crow laws and comparing gay people and terrorists. If, if dialogue with, with Phil is, is not part of the next steps, then A&E has chosen profits over African-American and gay people, especially its employees and viewers. Again, this statement coming from GLAD. A&E has said that they are going to uh, use this moment, John, to launch a, a national public service campaign to promote unity and tolerance. How is that going to be received? You know, I don't know how it'll be received. You know, I'm, I'm all for teaching moments. I do think in sometimes in situations like this, we are quick to call for someone to be terminated. We are quick for us uh, uh, try to brandish somebody with the scarlet letter. But I do believe we should educate and enlighten people. Clearly, this man is a racist and a homophobe. He might not have been aware of it, but his comments clearly are indicative of that. And so not only do we need to enlighten him, we need to enlighten the people who rally behind this man and they don't see the, the fault in what he did and the error in his ways, because they too need to be enlightened that this is not how you communicate in America. We do have free speech, but when your rhetoric and your free speech uh, offends and somebody else, uh, you know, and, and, and yeah. someone else is hurt by it, it becomes hateful speech, and we don't have that. John Murray, editor-in-chief of AlwaysList.com. John, thank you. My pleasure. The